Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. comic book creators of Superman and Captain America led the American public against the Nazis and the Japanese during World War II. The characters they developed motivated the American public to support the war effort. These pioneers in the comic book industry, Jack Kirby, Joe Simon, Jerry Siegel, and Joe Schuster, created fictional characters that motivated and inspired a generation in the midst of a terrible war, and their legacy continues to entertain and excite audiences today. One of the most popular and enduring comic book characters is the legendary super-powered hero, Superman. Comic book artists Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster made Superman in June 1938, a new variation on the classic American hero. Superman was always fighting for those in need during the Great Depression. For example, Superman's adventures entailed attacking the evil of greed for his first several years. These Jewish artists virtually created the modern comic book industry. Superman was the first superhero to have an entire comic book series dedicated to one hero. Within a few years after his creation, other heroes like Superman debuted in the comic book industry. Heroes like Batman, the Human Torch, the Submariner, Captain Marvel, the Flash, and Wonder Woman emerged from the same formula that Superman followed. Many of these heroes are still popular today. By 1938, Hitler had established a powerful dictatorship in Germany and had stripped away the civil rights of the Jewish population. When World War II began in 1939, Jews were sent to ghettos and eventually to concentration camps. Many Americans preferred to stay out of the war. However, Jewish Americans were eager to become involved as they identified with the hardships the Jews faced in Germany. The two major superhero comic book industries at the time, DC Comics and Timely Comics, were dominated by Jewish men and the superheroes they created shared their motives. As the war progressed, superheroes like Superman began to fight unnamed war enemies that closely resembled Axis enemies. Comic book artist Ramona Freden recalls the time and says, Hitler was about to invade Poland and everyone was in despair because we were weak and Britain was going under. And then Superman came out suddenly and I remember thinking, maybe he's going to save us. This was indirectly calling America to action because if an upstanding hero like Superman was fighting injustices in the war, then America should too. In 1940, Jewish artists Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster put Superman up against Adolf Hitler. A short story of Superman appeared on February 27, 1940, that outraged the Nazis. In the story, Superman flies off to Germany and picks Hitler up by his neck to deliver him to the League of Nations World Court for trial. The Nazi party responded to this comic by recognizing Siegel and Schuster's blood and saying, the clever creator of Superman is a Colorado beetle who works in dark, incomprehensible ways. It is pitiful that American children who must live in this atmosphere of the West don't even recognize the poison they daily swallow. Superman was then banned everywhere that the Nazis had control of. However, in September of 1941, Britain enlisted the aid of Superman. The British cabled the copyright owners of Superman to ask permission to use the hero's name and Superman's adventures would appear in the post. Siegel and Schuster were acclaimed as heroes themselves. Although they had never been physically strong, they were able to enrage the Nazis and defeat Hitler's image. In 1941, nine months before Pearl Harbor, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby created Captain America. Steve Rogers, Captain America's alter ego, was a scrawny, weak, unathletic kid who was injected with the super serum making him the ultimate specimen of human physical power with peak strength, agility, stamina, and intelligence. Rogers vowed to use his power to fight the enemies of America, and Captain America became a symbol of freedom. Joe Simon had grown up learning in act that acting tough and standing up to bullies was the best way to survive. He used this ideal as inspiration in the creation of Captain America. The first cover of Captain America depicted the ultra-American hero Captain America slugging Adolf Hitler in the face. Unlike the focus of other comic book writers during this time, Kirby was the first comic book artist to take a political stand. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. 
This event swayed public opinion into rage against the Japanese and the Nazis. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster had to find a way to have Superman join the armed forces without defeating real enemies with ease, minimizing the importance of military. Instead, Superman failed his eye examination to join the armed forces on accident by using his x-ray vision to read the eye chart in the next room. He then decided to help out any way he could on the home front. Captain America not only advocated for liberty, but inspired adolescents by encouraging them to help on the home front or to join the fight on the front lines. Both Captain America and Superman were used in various forms of propaganda against the Axis powers and united the American people to help support and provide for the troops. Superman's patriotism and superhuman abilities made him a shining example during the war. Writer John Culber said, And to top it all, his motivating traits are super courage, super goodness, and super justice. Posters featured Superman encouraging children to collect scraps. He was used to promote purchasing war stamps and war bonds. Comics constantly reminded readers to be vigilant against enemy spy rings, or to watch coast or borders against possible enemy invasion. Captain America provided the people with hope during a time of despair. He was shown socking Hitler across the jaw and taking down fictional allies of the Nazis. Captain America's legacy lasted far beyond the early post-World War II days. He is Marvel's biggest success during the Golden Age and one of the top-selling superheroes of all time. Superman displayed this new vision of heroes, encouraging others to help, and displaying loyalty to their country. With Superman's extraordinary powers, he was depicted battling dictators and fighting enemies of the United States. Siegel and Schuster created a hero that people could look up to as morally perfect and extremely powerful. The popularity of comic books during the time was phenomenal. Superman was the first adventure character to be presented on the screen as an animated cartoon. Superman was shown on the screen in 1941 and continued in his animated series until 1943. In just three years, Superman has been in every form of entertainment that man can make. According to Publishers Weekly and Business Week in 1942, roughly 15 million comic books were sold monthly. Their popularity can be attributed to the hope that they brought to the American people that they would be victorious in the war. Wartime messages could be displayed in a popular and entertaining way. Because the target audience was the American youth, the writers were able to pass on the ideas and values to the next generation. Through the next generation, and many generations to follow, these heroes still remained popular and influential. Captain America returns in 1960 after being frozen in a block of ice since 1945. He accepts membership in the Avengers, Marvel's newest superhero team. Superman, however, was recreated in the 1960s. The second Superman was introduced to explain to the reader Superman's membership in both the 1940s superhero team, the Justice Society of America, and the 1960s superhero team, the Justice League of America. In 1980, writer John Brand rewrote the backstory of Superman. The character of Superman has constantly been revised over the years. His image, powers, and abilities vary in each comic created after the war. A series of Superman and Captain America movies were created to continue the legacy of these characters created during World War II. Superman 1, Superman 2, Superman 3, and Superman 4, The Quest for Peace were released from 1978 through 1987, featuring Christopher Reeve as Superman. Nineteen years later, in 2006, Superman Returns was released. This film grossed approximately $391 million worldwide. Man of Steel, released in 2013, was a restart on the Superman film series. Warner Brothers took ideas from comic book writers on how to present Superman in a modern context. In 1979, Captain America and Captain America 2, Death Too Soon, were released. The 1990 movie, Captain America, featured the transformation of Steve Rogers to Captain America during World War II and his battles during that time. The most recent Captain America series began in 2011 with Captain America The First Avenger, then the preceding film Captain America The Winter Soldier. These films demonstrated Captain America's war efforts. The creators of Superman and Captain America were voices of Jewish Americans during World War II. 
they spoke up against Hitler and his racial policies. They were also patriots on the home front. They created an atmosphere of safety and hope for the American people. Joe Simon, Jack Kirby, Jerry Siegel, and Joe Schuster were pioneers in the field of comic books and revolutionized the industry. Their superheroes became legends.